What's good, everybody? Uh, it's good, good Millhouse back at it again with another video, and this is from our Twitch stream. Uh, I do a Twitch stream on Saturdays and Sundays around 12 p.m. PST, and uh, I do like a little stay with me session uh, for all the new artists that are trying to improve in art, and uh, this is stuff that was never taught to me in art school. So uh, hopefully this helps you, and if you're going to pick an art school, hopefully you can see these um, studies and these lessons as part of the curriculum so you can understand what's a good pick for you for art school. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss any of my videos or any of my lectures or teaching sessions or sitting with me streams. And uh, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitch as well. Um, that's where I will be doing most of my, <laughs> like, I guess, study with me streams. Um, it's a pretty lengthy video, but enjoy. This is all real time. And I uh, hope you guys get some type of value out of this. And let me know in the comment section down below if you guys uh, appreciate these type of videos or not. And uh, with that being said, let's start the video. Today, we're going to be going over lines. Um, lines are very, 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 very important. Um, not for the you know sake of like, you know, thin to thick or whatever. But uh, lines do uh, make up an illustration. Um, there's like comp composition and lines. It's not only just one or two consistent line strokes. Uh, one of my my um, issues I was having with my characters looking a little bit more appealing was that my my line weight my line weight was very 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 consistent. So you can see here in in this commission uh, that I did the lovely ladies. I'm gonna use her as an example. You can see that it's uh, the lines are just really, really consistent. Uh, there's no variation. There's hardly any uh, breaks in the lines. And uh, the reason why you will see other people's artwork where um, they're like, let's say they're drawing something, right? Let me switch my brush. So you'll see people's uh, lines, right? They would draw really lightly. And then you have like a break in between. So even though there's like a break, your mind is still putting in the information that it curves. So I'm just going to go off a, uh, a little topic or, or speaking discussion of uh, what what my friend uh, was going about. Uh, Costa, he had like a <clears throat> short little lecture on lines. And um, actually, let me. So today is going to be on, on lines. <clears throat> so like in composition terms, you have different varies of like, let's say if you want to make a character, um, you would have a short, no, not short. You have a small, medium and large for a composition of characters, environments and stuff like that. But that also goes down to your color choices, your paintings um, and also your line weight. Your line weight also has a small, medium, and large factor that comes with it. And I'm going to just uh, display it for you guys. So you have your um, small, medium, and large. And like your small will be very, very light. Your medium will be, this would be your medium here. And then your large will be something this thick. So you also want to incorporate this into your your lines as well. So yeah, you want to have small, medium, and large for your lines, right? And one of the most important practices, like just keep this in mind, is not going to come. It's not going to be very important until far later into our study with me streams. You know, this is going to be like when it comes to anatomy or figure sketching. and like objects, right? So just keep that in mind. That's like a little little extra side thing just to like keep you guys, just to put you in a know. Um, the practices for today that I really want to like talk about are the practices of straight lines. Um, you can do this digitally. I don't really do this digitally. I like doing it traditionally, but I will try to do my best to show you and in, in, like, you know, be as descriptive as possible when it comes to practicing these lines. Um, the first thing that you want to practice is like practicing your straight lines. All right. And uh, what you will have is like a 
like a page or two. I would just normally do it for a page. It's it doesn't have to be too crazy about it. Like I I used to spend like all day doing this, and then the next five hours I would go into like drawing or sketching objects and other stuff like that. Um, so the first one you want to practice is straight lines, and you want to also try the small, medium, and large technique, uh, where you will practice your short strokes, your stroke, your short straight lines. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna also tell you why you wanna practice this. Um, there's two ways of doing this. You can do it in order like this, or you could also just keep going over the same line and trying to make it as straight as possible. And this is here, this is what you're trying to avoid. I like doing it also uh, in pen because you can't really take it back. So what you're trying to do is just trying to be as straight as possible. Do this about like 10 times for each line. You wanna practice the short, you wanna practice like the medium or the little, little bit longer lines throughout the entire page. Or you can also do this you know, over 10 times. And where I'm drawing, I'm not using my wrist. I'm not using my wrist. I am using my arm. I'm using my shoulder. This is how you avoid injuries from um, drawing. Uh, I've been drawing consistently for like five years straight. Um, if I had to take a day off, it's because I either have work or uh, some type of family emergency or errands or just personal stuff that I have to deal with. But I've been drawing very consistently for five years and um just trying to learn as much as i possibly can and i never had like a wrist injury unless if i went to the gym and injured my wrist like that is the only time i have like a wrist injury i never had an injury from drawing because i drew from my shoulder and my elbows and uh, my arm my entire arm and the next one would be the, this this one would be like across the entire page so good across the entire page and you're trying to keep them as straight as possible as uniform as possible with enough space this is the one i'm actually like really terrible at and you can also do the same thing as like example one and example two go across the entire page same line over and over and over again and you're still trying to avoid this. You're not trying to have like your lines turn into something feathery at the end. And then for the question of how long should I do this practice or this, uh, yeah, this practice for, I will only do like one page of this. I'll, I'll do one page of this, um, uh, not only like straight lines do some other stuff as well but i would not spend my entire afternoon doing this that is for damn sure all right so like the next thing to also practice the straight lines this is this has been great for accuracy i don't see a lot of people on tiktok talking about this so what we're going to be doing is like um uh, what would you call it it's like accuracy or uh guided accuracy So what you're so what you're basically doing is that you're trying to connect this dot to this dot right here and you're trying to keep the line straight and not have it curve or anything like that it's hard for me to see where i put the dots because of like the way how my cintiq is positioned but there And uh, any trick to practice this uh, accuracy is like, you see how my cursor is like hovering over the two dots? It's training my arm to preemptively draw that straight line and hit that little guiding point. The long ones are always the hardest one. Oh, so close. Yeah, but this is not meant to be a thing that you do all day. This is something you do for like, I guess 20 or 30 minutes before you start drawing. That's how I used to do it after I stopped doing the all day thing. And then the third thing I want to talk about 
is um this practice where it's this is like another exercise trick so what you're doing is you're drawing lines and you want them to hit this center point here And also ghost it, ghosting it as a, you can see my cursor moving up and down. I'm trying to train my arm to hit that very, very center point right here. Same thing from lacrosse. At first I didn't know what these practices were for or was about. Um, I was just doing them just to do them. Because I read it in the Scott Robertson book that I have to do them. <laughs> but I don't think I read a section on like why it's important to do them. Which I'm going to get into. So you have those three line practices. So these are my notes on why. So if you're drawing traditionally or if you're even drawing digitally, you're able to just draw out your perspective grid because you've been training your accuracy. That is a point of this. Like make grids on your own. Uh, when it comes to drawing cubes, trying to figure out where I wanna, how I wanna do this helps with uh, Drawing, I guess, cubes. And also like drawing objects that have straights. Yeah, so it helps drawing objects with straight lines. Um, another reason for this, um, I'm gonna show you like what we're gonna be learning like in, a, in the next stream of tomorrow or uh, the next day or something. Where if, you are going to let's say multiply a plane right and what is a plane a plane is basically what we're seeing here this is considered a plane this is also considered a plane and this is considered a plane all right it's, it's whatever side of an object that is facing us or uh or a side of an object that is like visible those are called planes so if i was going to Draw, let's say, a window, right? This is like the perspective of my window. <clears throat> but I also want to multiply this window. How would I go about multiplying it? So for you to multiply this window, so if you want to multiply the, this uh, this window here and have it spaced correctly to a house that you just drew, right? Um, you want to find the center point of this cube here, of this plane. So what you want to do, you're going to be drawing straight lines and have it connect. Now, since you got your X, you got your middle. Now you can, this is, this is your little, the, the plane. So now that we found our center of the plane, now we can like move on and multiply it. Um, I think the last line is kind of like jank do this there you go. it's kind of accurate it's not as accurate as I want it to be but that's really fine we're doing like a little example or a demo so for you to multiply the faces of a plane without it looking weird and janky you're going to oh yeah. I not to also like I like rotating it so I can like get a better stroke I could do it like horizontally, but it's it's harder for me. So what I'm trying to do is draw a single line right there, the very top, and then I can draw my straight line downward. There you go. And now we have two planes here with the same size. And our next window is going to be the second 
or the third, the third from uh, from here. So again, we're, we're going to use our accuracy that we've been like practicing, drawing a straight line through, and then we're going to draw a straight line. And this is our, this is our second window. Oh, so this is the space in between. And now if I want to draw a window, so if I wanted to draw a window, now I could put in some divots here, not divots, but like some, give it some more dimension here. And we can do the same over here. this one like on a wrong drawing layer but that's totally fine i make a new layer on top of everything so if we're gonna make a window here's it's a little plane here's like let's say the top part of the window just following the perspective Do the same over here Start branching out from there. You know, like if I wanted to add a some type of ledge, I can do so. And now we got like two windows. So these are the reasons why you want to practice this line exercise. Because if you follow everything exactly to a grid, it'll just end up looking very sterile, like I mentioned before. But with this, you're able to uh, start adding and subtracting and multiplying different planes. Just like how we was adding and subtracting with our shapes and our forms earlier last week. Let's say, homework. One stage of lines. Or how about like two? We do two. Two pages of lines. Shouldn't take you more than like 15 to 20 minutes. Actually, not like way less. Like, let's say it should take you like five, five to 10 minutes. And for your lines, you can go as slow as possible, trying to get as, you know, trying to be as controlled. Or if you really need to make a, a quick line, there you go. You know. Okay, and that is it for the entire lesson. I hope you guys got some type of value out of this. If you guys did, please leave a comment down below. I really like your opinion on all of this. This is all still brand new to me. I don't really do live teaching streams. I can do lectures and stuff like that, but I never done like the whole live teaching thing or study with me thing. So I would really love your input in the comment section down below. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, you guys can always find me on actually any pro, pro social media platform. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to say that, but you can find me with the same name as everything else, Get Good Millhouse. If you ever want to support me, all my links are going to be down below. I also have affiliate links. If you guys are interested in the equipment I'm using or the computer or the Cintiq or whatever that I have that I use, and you're interested in looking for any of those things, those are all affiliate links and they all help out me and the channel. And so I can probably get a better mic so I can like so my audio will stop dropping. Oh my God, I've been trying to fix this problem for a while and I don't know what the hell is going on, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, but I'm still trying to make content for you and trying to help you guys uh, with any of your art problems. I think education should be a little bit more accessible. 
So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, you guys are improving because you guys are actually looking for it. And uh, be kind to yourself. Bye.